Story 50 The Wisdom of Solomon Words We Know Preparation Your For Television Wrote Wrong Answer Bought Brought Explanation Learn Earn Pollution Famous Cautious Science Audience Autumn Concession Station Pension Naturally Actually Finally Everything Something Nothing Everyone Someone Anyone Appear Disappear Disappearance New sound R as in right Shun as in fraction Shun as in pension Special words Sword Court Woman Women The Wisdom of Solomon This is a story from the Bible. Thousands of years ago, there lived Solomon, king of Israel. Most nations at that time believed in many gods, but Israel believed in only one god. Solomon's father, King David, had ruled Israel for forty years. David had won many victories. This had caused his people to become great and strong. However, the nation of Israel still had many enemies. Solomon knew his position as king would not be easy. When he first became king, he was anxious that he might not be able to rule this great kingdom wisely. When there were serious disputes among the people, it was his job to be the judge and make decisions, to decide who was wrong and who was right. Solomon was a very religious man. He prayed for God's help. Then God appeared to him in a dream and said, I will give you whatever you want. Solomon knelt and said, O oh Lord God, I am your servant. My mission is to look after your people, and there are so many of them. What I ask is this, give me an understanding heart so that I may judge correctly what is right and what is wrong. God was pleased with Solomon's dedication to the welfare of his people. Solomon had resisted the temptation to seek glory for himself. You could have asked me for riches, said God, or for victory in war, or for a long life. But you have asked for wisdom, so that you can help my people. Therefore, you will find that I have granted you a wise and understanding heart. There has been no one like you before, and there will be none like you in the future. So great was God's satisfaction with Solomon, that he promised him riches and fame as well. When Solomon woke up from his dream, he believed that God had spoken to him. He went to the most holy place in the land, and thanked God, and provided a feast of celebration for all his servants. And Solomon did become famous for his wisdom.
One morning, the court of King Solomon was in session. He was sitting on his throne and considering the problems of his people. Two women came to him, causing a disruption. One was holding a baby wrapped in white cloth. The other was trying to take it, and both were complaining loudly. Silence, commanded the king. I shall hear one woman first and then the other. One said, O king, I live in the same house with this woman. I had a baby, and three days later she had one too. There was no one else in the house, but her baby died in the night, and while I was sleeping she took my baby and left her dead baby in my arms. When I woke up, I saw that it was not my son. Now she is saying that my baby is hers. I want him back. As soon as she had told her story, the other woman replied, telling her version. No, the live baby is my son and the dead one is yours. And they displayed great emotion in front of the king. Enough, cried the king, and they fell silent. Here is a difficult question, he said. Each woman claims the baby as her own. There is only one solution to this problem. Solomon turned to one of his guards, saying, Bring me a sword. The sword was brought. And now, said the wise king, cut the living child into two parts and give half to one woman and half to the other. The people who had been watching this case gasped with horror. They had never heard their king command such a cruel action. The guard took the baby by the wrist and held it up. The baby was wriggling. The guard did not want to kill him. This caused a feeling of great tension in the court. Just a fraction of a second before the guard was about to strike the baby with his sword, one of the women cried out, No, let her have the child, but do not harm him and she fell to the floor crying. The king signalled to the guard to put down his sword and turned to the woman who had just given up the baby, saying, You are the true mother. Your devotion to the child is greater than your determination to win the case. Thus I give you the baby. A full description of the case was written down. Soon the whole population heard what had happened in the court of King Solomon, and everyone was amazed at his wisdom. Even people of other lands, including his enemies, expressed admiration for this famous judgment. And to this day, when people are having a conversation about a difficult problem and don't know how to solve it, you will sometimes hear them say, I wish I had the wisdom of Solomon. Words we've used. Sword. Answer. Scene. Court. For. Your. Woman. Women. Cafe. Bought. Thought brought some new words. Right, wreck, wrench, unwrap, wrinkle, wrestle, adoption, taxation. Position, addition, subtraction, multiplication, donation, election, relationship, pension, division, revision.